Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my current favorites or my April favorites. But I have some fun things to share with you, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So my first favorites are these wedges, which you may have already seen these on my Instagram a ton because I've been wearing the heck out of these. Just so cute and they're so comfortable and they go with literally everything. Whenever I buy wedges, I look for a couple different things. I look for something that doesn't have an ankle strap. Then on top of that, it ties up and then they're nude. So it gives the illusion that your legs are a lot longer than they actually are. So I love these and they're so, so comfortable. They're super, super padded. I think I got these at Nordstrom, but I will leave them linked down below along with everything that I talk about as always but yeah these are super super cute okay so next I have a phone case and I think it's kind of dirty right now let me just clean it this is what it looks like it's clear it's got a little white poof ball and also a tassel so when you put it on it's pink because it's all clear and it's just so adorable I love this phone case Next, I have another kind of like accessory, and this is something that I got pretty recently. I wanted a mirror that I could keep on my vanity, especially when I'm filming, and I found this on Amazon. So it has a little tray right here where you could put stuff like while you're getting ready and doing your makeup, and then it also lights up. And then it also comes with this little baby mirror that has like really good zoom, and I've been using it for my eyebrows, and it really works. Like it gets really in there. The mirror is really good. It just, I don't feel like it warps my face or anything. Okay, this next one is also kind of random, but I know a lot of you have little dogs like I do, so I just had to share it because it's so stinking cute. It's a dog leash. It's all gold. Look how gorgeous that is. And it's got kind of like a tufting effect. It's plastic. Um, the only thing is you can't really um, extend it too far. It's really perfect whenever I have to take it to like her doctor appointments and her groomings, you know, things where she doesn't need to go that far anyways. And I got this separately too. I got this at her dog groomers, but that's why I got the leash because it matches her collar. Okay, so we're getting into the beauty. The first uh, kind of like body beauty thing that I have to talk about. Is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name because I know I'm going to butcher it, but this is a body Body cream it's a white almond body cream you see those little red dots they're actually almond oils so when you apply it the little red beads melt into your skin and it it distributes that additional oil and it feels so good and it leaves a really beautiful sheen on your arms um, let me see if you guys can see it it leaves a really really beautiful sheen so this is perfect for the summertime especially if you're somebody that wants like a little bit of a glow but you don't like shimmer this is a really good way to go. And if you like the smell of almond, this smells amazing. So next I have something that I picked up during the Sephora VAB sale and I am so obsessed with it, you guys. I bought it not knowing if I was gonna like it or not and I ended up loving it. It's the YSL Black Opium Dry Oil. The description said that you could spray it on your hair and body and it had the same scent as the Black Opium, which is my current perfume obsession. I am so obsessed with Black Opium at the moment. It just smells amazing. It's got a really nice weight to it. And um, when you open it, it's got the little sprayer. And let me put a little bit in my hair. So not only does it smell like Black Opium, but it also makes your hair really shiny. You can also use it on your body. So you guys can see that. It's an actual oil and you can put this all over. And what's great about this is that if you already have the perfume and you're a fan like I am, you can layer the scents to make it last so much longer. I've been so obsessed with this. I hope this isn't limited edition because I may need to go and buy a backup. I have a few palettes that I have been really loving. And the first one is the Too Faced Peaches palette, which I wasn't really sure if I was gonna love or not. First of all, it was a nightmare getting this palette. I don't know if it's sold out online. You may still be able to find it at like your local Ulta. If you're on the fence about it, it's amazing. I love it. It's been my go-to palette. I have been reaching for this literally every single day because these colors are just so flattering on my complexion all of these mattes are my perfect crease shadows I use this all the time I use this all the time the shimmery colors are warm and they just look so good because a lot of shimmery colors that are lighter or like pink they make me look really sleepy and they just don't flatter me at all but all of these colors look amazing I've also been loving the glow kit by Anastasia which this has been a pretty hyped up palette I went out and got it and I love it I think it's a really good value for somebody that loves highlights they are all like really, really potent and like metallic. So if you like that look, 
definitely um, I would go for this. Totally worth every single penny and I love that you get four different ones to choose from. I love this one. I love them all honestly. The one that I use the least is golden bronze just because I tend to go for a matte bronzer. Another thing you may have noticed that I've been using a lot especially like in my get ready with me's and tutorials are green color correctors and I have two that I have been really liking. The one that I've been reaching for a ton this past month is the Smashbox one and it comes in a pencil form. I love it because I get a lot of redness around my nose area and this cancels it out so beautifully. And it doesn't get cakey, it doesn't leave any kind of like residue or anything like that. So now the NYX one, I just discovered it and I did an entire video trying on a bunch of new makeup products from the drugstore and this was one of them and I fell in love with it. The good thing about this one is that a little bit goes a really long way which is also a bad thing if you don't use it properly because you can definitely get a little carried away and look green. Um, but if you just put a little bit and you do a really good job of blending it out, if you were to ask me which one I prefer, I prefer the Smashbox one, but I think the NYX one is a really good value. So next I have a new concealer that I recently discovered that I have fallen head over heels over. I just ran out of my NARS creamy, creamy concealer, radiant creamy concealer, and I was gonna repurchase it, but then I was like, no, you know what, let me go try something new, and I found this website called Space and K, I think it, it's called, and they were having like a $20 off of a $100 purchase, so I bought some things that I needed, and I decided to try out this concealer, this is by, by Terry. This is an under eye concealer and the reason I got it is because I saw that it had the Touche name on it, which is the same as the Touche Cloth from the YSL. Well, the name is the same, so I thought it would be kind of similar to it, but then I was reading the reviews and it said that a lot of people are saying that this is not like the YSL one as far as like coverage, like it has really good coverage but it also illuminates and on top of that, it's really good for people that have lots of um, fine lines underneath their eyes. So like if you have more mature skin or if you just have a lot of under eye lines like I do. And you guys, it is so beautiful and it only comes in like four shades and I kind of wish I would have gotten one shade lighter. I got, what color did I get? I got it and then number three in beige. I kind of wish I would have gone one shade lighter because this is almost like my exact shade. But this concealer is amazing. It really, really does have amazing coverage. I feel like it has better, it, the coverage is up there with like the Makeup Forever HD concealer, but it doesn't settle into my lines like that one does. It um, also highlights and illuminates the way that the Touche Clot does. So it's like a three-in-one product. It is really pricey, so I would say if you don't have any problems with like under eye um, circles or you don't have fine lines or dry skin and you just need something to like illuminate, then definitely you don't need this. It's just like a luxury product. But if you're somebody that hasn't found that one product that works, then definitely give this a shot. So those are my favorites for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will leave um, everything that I talked about listed down in the info box with links and all of that and don't forget to share one of your favorites with me and I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.